everyone! Welcome back to Readings with Sam. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you can stay updated on all the amazing messages that are coming through on this channel. Whenever you need to hear this message is when you need it most, so even though I read on daily energies, if you're watching this tomorrow, a week from now, a month from now, a year from now, you are meant to hear this when you are ready to receive it. Also, these are collective readings, so I'm reading on everyone who's going to be watching these videos, so that's why I give a lot of different interpretations. So sometimes every single interpretation is exactly what's going on in your life, and sometimes maybe one or two apply but the others are meant for other people so always remember to use your own intuition and discernment to see which messages are for you. So the deck that wanted to speak to us is the Akashic Tarot by Sharon Ann Klinger and Sandra Ann Taylor. <laughs> and I feel like it really makes sense that it comes out on the third quarter moon because the third quarter moon there is more of a sense of clarity and there also is a sense of okay where am I going next now that I dealt with all that stuff where am I going next and the Akashic Library and um, the Akashic Records if you're unfamiliar with them is said to be a place on the inner planes where all of the information and all of what has ever happened and is happening and is going to happen is written within these Akashic records within the Akashic library. So it's really a time of entering into soul time and stepping out of human time. Human time is linear, you know, human time is okay so you do this and then you do that and then you do that soul time soul time is all over the place and soul time is like yes on human time even though we're saying oh do this that and the other thing really on soul level you're really here yeah so it kind of gives a more of a spiritual perspective as of course all these decks do but of course the decks all hit on kind of different things and if you are familiar with the Akashic Records if you really tap into the Akashic Records already then this reading may really really resonate with you and of course if you are on the spiritual path and you're really wondering like where am I at even like on that path then this message may also bring a lot of clarity so let's dive in let's see what's going on today Mmm. Okay, so let's get into the reading. So the card overall today is Faded Meaning Reversed. Now, if you've ever gone to reading with me or if you've been watching me for a while, you probably know that I don't really like to talk too much about other people in your life because I am very much someone that really believes in as above, so below, as within, so without. Everything going on in heaven is what's going on in earth. Everything going on in earth is what's going on in heaven. Everything going on within you is happening outside of you. Everything what's happening outside of you is happening within you. However, with all that being said, if that makes sense to you, we deal with other people all the time and that is just the human experience. So sometimes we do have to focus on other people and sometimes it really is other people that are messing with your energy. And today is one of those days. So yeah, if you if you watch the reading from yesterday, this may be really resonant for you, but faded meeting reversed really represents a time where karmic contracts are not necessarily being fulfilled or a karmic lesson has been completed and now continuing on with the relationship with someone else is just not beneficial or just not useful in some way. So again, all of us collectively as humans and everyone in your life is connected to you karmically. Everyone from your romantic partner to your parents to your best friends to even the cashier that you see on weekends, you know, every single person human being that you interact with is tied to you karmically from a past life or future life or from a parallel life but we're, we'll focus mostly on past lives with this so we don't get too super super confused and basically every single connection so for example you and i if you're watching this video you and i have had a karmic connection in the past that's why you're drawn to me now and that's why i'm speaking to you now right so because we have this connection, there is something that we are learning from each other. Now, obviously, I don't know you personally, or maybe I do, but if I don't know you personally, I'm still learning something from you, from you watching this and from me taking your comments and taking in your energy and reading this. I'm still learning something and you're learning from this video and all that. So, basically, with this energy today, there is someone in your life, there may be, or there may be someone in your life, there probably is someone in your life, 
that you feel like the relationship has just gotten really, really difficult or just really hard or you took off the rose colored glasses and you realize it's not really what you thought it was. But something about this relationship and this person just isn't working anymore. It's just not working. And when faded meeting reverse comes up, it basically means that either you or the other person is essentially not holding up their quote unquote end of the deal. Um, and this could mean a variety of things, since it may be that. It may be that because you or the other person is not holding up their end of the deal, the karmic lesson can't be learned in this situation and it's time for you to move away to basically learn it in a new way. In another sense of this though, the karmic lesson itself may be for you or for the other person, but probably for you if you're watching this, is to learn to walk away from people that are not benefiting you and that are actually causing you distress in some way, even if they may be a good person. This card when this comes up isn't demonizing anyone. It's not saying like, oh, this person is like trying to get you and like is backstabbing you and doing all this. No, it's not saying that. It's saying just that you and someone else that you may have felt really close to or you may have felt like, wow, they really were my person. If you guys just aren't on the same page or you suddenly you feel like the relationship is very draining or has become toxic over time or you just don't feel in alignment, you just don't, something's off about it. Just know that it's because the relationship is ending because the karmic contract has ending. So on a spiritual level, the relationship and the cords between you, the energetic cords between you are starting to fade because whatever contract that you guys had was either fulfilled and you guys did learn your lessons and now it's time for you to move on and you know this person was just in your life for this particular lesson and um, for this particular time but not necessarily someone that was supposed to be in your life for your whole life, right? Or again, you or the other person just is not getting the karmic contract it's it's just not clicking the lesson that's supposed to be learned just is not being learned and it's really just creating more negative karma and it's just a problem your basically your higher guides are like you know what like yeah we're, it's not working this time like let's let's just cut the cord let's just move on let's let's decimate the, the contract and then go to someone else so um this could represent again a romantic partner, uh, it could represent a friend, it could even represent a family member, and when I even say family member, I'm really personally, personally against cutting off family members, but this also may mean to step away from someone that's being toxic from you, but overall it doesn't matter, overall it basically means that there is some sort of relationship in your life that is no longer working out and no longer in your highest alignment, it's no longer healthy for you, and it's not healthy for them either, and it's just better to walk away or unravel each other from each other. So again, like, I don't want to go as far as be like, cut this person off or stop talking to them or block them or whatever, but it's just like, just know that you guys may notice there may be growing distance between you and know that that's exactly what is meant to happen. And just know that if you have been very confused about it, just know that it's because a karmic contract has already been completed and learned and done and the lessons that you guys learn together are complete and it's time for you to move on and learn new things. Or one or two of you just really isn't, isn't, isn't fully getting the lesson that was meant to manifest in your guys' relationship and it's just better for you to walk away from each other now <laughs> than, to, than to just continue trying to figure it out. And, and trust me, the universe, especially with those scar, the universe has someone already set up for you to learn whatever you need to learn. Now the advice card is the lookout, okay? So this person may be very difficult for you to let go, or you may be in denial of letting them go, or you may be telling yourself that all that is not the part of the reading that applied to you. Let me tell you right now, when this, when the lookout comes out, Again, I don't, if you've been, if you've read with me before, if you've been watching me for a while, I also don't like to go into future stuff because I really am fully, a full, full believer that you co-create your future in this present moment. However, there are some things that are already so set in motion due to cause and effect that it is most likely to happen. Nothing's guaranteed, but some things are more likely to happen than others. And when the lookout comes out, the spirits are just telling you, 
hey, because of everything that's happened so far, if you continue to hold on to this relationship, especially because it's not serving you spiritually anymore, it will get increasingly more difficult until you guys really choose to step away from each other. So this is foresight. This, this, this right here is the gift of foresight. And again, I'm telling you right now, you don't have to listen to me. You don't have to listen to anybody. You really don't. You don't. But the likelihood that this will get worse <laughs> or just more difficult or just more agonizing or you're, you're whatever is high. It's just, it just is. So it's kind of also this feeling of like if this person is already out of your life, but you're clinging to them or clinging to past memories or you're still trying to sort out what happened or whatever, like just know by staying in that, it's just not that beneficial and it's, it's just, ah. The other thing is, if you know you if, if you listen to the first part of it and you're really like you know what yeah like I, it's time for me to let this person go just know that it, it probably is gonna be emotionally a little difficult for you um, and just know that it may be a little bit of a time of imbalance and a little bit of like oh, like this really sucks you know and it's okay it's kind of like what we talked about yesterday of like it's okay to throw a tantrum when the universe says no like it's fine like you don't have to be all high vibey all the time and be like okay like I guess I'll accept the universe even though I desperately want to cry right now this is another thing where the universe is saying like yeah this person was really important to you and was a big part of your life and saying goodbye may really really hurt it's better for you and you need to because there's so many better things waiting for you but yeah they're maybe a time of imbalance in your life because of it. So be on the lookout for that. Be mindful that you may feel a little off kilter, especially, especially if this is a romantic relationship, romantic relationships. And I also think friendships too, when you start to move away from them are really, 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 really difficult because you're so emotionally tied to that person, especially if you really, really talk to them every day or really went through something intense with them or especially if you do know that the relationship has turned sour and it's just painful to realize and come to terms with that fact, especially if the relationship was really good for a long time. So it's kind of like just be aware that, yeah, this will be hard and you still have the confirmation to let it go and move forward, but just really take care of yourself through it. And also just know that this is a very much a t taking off of a band-aid situation where you just gotta rip it off and deal with the pain, then like rip it off slowly and then like kind of cry and then like lift it off slowly, you know, don't, don't prolong the process. But today's energy overall is really let go specifically of a person who may currently be in your life or even a past person who still just takes up too much free free rent in your brain and really let go know that you've already learned the lessons or, and or that there's no more that's you're gonna learn or benefit from in that relationship and it's it's just it's just not it's just it's just the door is closed that's all the, the door is closed the chapter is over Nothing bad, nothing good, just the chapter's over, and just know that if you choose to hold on to it, it may cause more emotional turmoil, turmoil than is necessary, and if you choose to let go, also know that it may just cause some emotional turmoil that you will get through. There may be a little bit of a period where you feel a little imbalanced and you're just getting used to the new reality of like not having that person in your life or just not thinking about that person all the time or just not having that always going on. Um, but just know that in the grand scheme of things, this is all really good because once you let this go, there will be a lot of space for something new. Um, and that the universe also is setting up a situation that is new, that will be perfect for you to learn whatever you're going to be learning next. Yeah, yeah, very confirmative, especially if you've already been kind of like having these thoughts. Um, so yeah, I hope this message helps you today. I hope that you have a wonderful day today. And just remember that we are all collectively learning from each other all the time. And sometimes when lessons are learned, it's just time to graduate. That's all, you know, no hard feelings, nothing crazy. It doesn't have to be this whole thing, you know? Sometimes this is, this is just a time of moving forward and moving on.
So again, I hope this message helps, and I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.